If you work for a boss that you can't stand, I'm gonna share with you the five worst types of managers and how to deal with them. Number one is the bad pilot. It's that senior level manager who should be operating at the 30,000 foot level. However, they fly their plane so low to the ground. It's almost like their plane is an automobile and they get their wings of authority in your way. They're all in your business, trying to take control, trying to micromanage. It's difficult when you know you have things under control. So cue number one, here's what you should not do. Don't tell them to get out of your way. Don't tell them to go do something else. Convince them that you have everything under control because their issue is their own insecurity and they're projecting that onto you, hoping to see something that will validate that insecurity and that leads them to micromanage. So here's how you counteract that. You execute with excellence. Report the results of your efforts. Show that, hey, you have everything under control and then you have to use a little bit of psychology on them. Thank them for their collaboration, their participation, <laughs> their encouragement, which is a nice way of saying, go fly your plane back at that high altitude. We're fine down here on the ground. Number two, oh, I can't stand this one. It's the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Those managers whose mood keeps changing, just like the fictional character. One day he's Dr. Jekyll, he's in a good, decent mood. The other day, he's Mr. Hyde. You don't know who he is. He's always shifting his mood. No one wants to work in an emotionally toxic environment. So here's what you have to do. Here's my cue for you. Expect the worst. Hope for the best. Always expect them to be in a bad mood. That way you won't be thrown off. And on those days when they are in a positive mood, you are pleasantly surprised, but you are expecting them to change at any moment. And then finally what you should do is that you decide what your mood is gonna be because you know that individual is gonna be in a bad mood constantly. Exude positive energy regardless of what the mood of that bad manager is. Number three is the vampire. This is that manager that cannot be satisfied. Yes, that person who does not appreciate anything that you do, no matter how hard you try, no matter how many times you get the answer correct, because their dissatisfaction has nothing to do with you. It's a personal thing. And that's why you should not be bothered by it. What you should consistently do is execute with excellence. Even if your manager does not appreciate your work because your career is about you. Your success is your own. Have you ever been in a meeting with someone who wants to answer all the questions, do all the talking, let everyone know how smart he or she is? <laughs> Number four is the brainiac. You knew this one was coming. This person just has to be the center of attention. It's all about them. They'll even take credit for your comment. Yes, you know how that is. And act as though when you call them out, something's wrong with you. Please, don't even let it bother you. Just let it roll right off your back. Don't even act like it's affecting you because it gives power to their deception. There is nothing worse than having to report to someone who is physically there, but their presence is not helpful. I call this one the ghost. <laughs> oh yes, it's that manager who sits in their office, responsible for a whole team, yet you don't see them until it's time to get something from you. And they'll use their fear and intimidation tactics to get you to do what they want because it's all about them. They don't care about your personal success. They don't care about your career. So you shouldn't be afraid of them and you shouldn't be surprised when you need their help and they can't be found. But here's what you need to do. You need to be a ghost buster, be a solid performer, be positive, create the right atmosphere. Don't be combative. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. Be a collaborator. In other words, be the opposite of them. Be present and available, willing to solve problems, inspire others, and that's how you be a ghostbuster. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.